scientists have discovered a few big cats in captivity have an obsession for a well-known men's cologne. A study conducted at the Wildlife Conservation Society's Bronx Zoo indicated that among a number of perfumes and colognes tested, Calvin Klein's obsession for men was the top choice of interest to the two cheetahs at the zoo. Other fragrances were tested with some other big cats at the zoo. Some would encourage this really powerful cheek rubbing behavior where you know, these big cats would literally wrap their paws around a tree and just vigorously rub up and down. Sometimes they would start drooling, their eyes would half close, almost like they were going into a trance. And they would uh, you know, spend minutes rubbing up against an object that we had sprayed with certain uh, perfumes or colognes. We knew that cats would respond to various perfumes and colognes because it's, it's sort of in zoo lore. We've known about that for years. Smell is an important sense for all cat species, and investigating scents is common, especially those in an artificial setting which lacks the variety of new and old scents found in a natural environment. Big cats engage in cheek rubbing behavior to either deposit scent or pick up scents from other cats. Uh, there's very likely a territorial component to that, enabling them to mark territories. And uh, there's some evidence that they're also picking up um, reproductive cues from members of the opposite sex. WCS researchers conducted testing at zoos with tigers and later with cheetahs. Man-made and natural scents are used as olfactory enrichment tools at the zoo. The scents are sprayed inside animals' enclosures to keep the animals active and engaged, both for their mental and physical well-being and for the viewing public's benefit. But it could also be used to aid in, in field research. Uh, you can apply scents to camera traps to induce uh, the, the target animals that you're looking to photograph close to cameras so that you can begin to get an idea of what species are in the habitat that you're studying. In the wild, WCS says its researchers deployed obsession for men and other fragrances at camera traps in Guatemala. They say it has enabled them to get more precise estimates of jaguar populations in one of the most important jaguar refuges in the Americas, the Maya Biosphere Reserve. Perfume companies very closely guard their uh, ingredients and formulas, so we don't really know what's in a given perfume. The knowledge about wild animals' interest in scent has also been used in setting up hair traps, where scientists can collect hair follicles from some species of wild cats for DNA research. When the animals rub tree bark, for example, they leave behind hair, which scientists can use to extract DNA from the hair follicles to identify diversity in the animal's population. Loss of habitat due to human agriculture and development and illegal killings has caused several wild cat species to become endangered. Thomas is mindful that some people could misuse this knowledge about scents, but he pointed out that obsession for men was not the best performing fragrance in the field and declined to reveal which perfumes or colognes were the best lures for all cats in the wild. In fact, a similar experiment conducted in the wild found that big cats did not express much interest in the scents offered.